Matt Baumgarten is a bright guy. He's so bright that his parents call him Sun. But Matt works for Lathrop Village, where the city hall is full of outdated and inefficient lighting. The building was built in 1973, and so we are dealing with an older building. I believe construction started on it in 1972. But this is supposed to be the beacon of the city, the hub of this bustling little municipality, not a dimly lit, flickering reminder of the wastefulness of our past. Government oftentimes, uh, money will go to whatever builder had the lowest bid. Not even realized back in the 70s, um, extended cost of cutting corners. The, I guess you could say the high prices of low prices. Fortunately, Lathrop Village was awarded a grant by the Bureau of Energy Systems, giving them the opportunity to retrofit the lighting system of this entire building. What is going on behind you here is they're actually retrofitting our overhead fluorescent lights and moving them from a um, magnetic ballast to an electronic ballast, and then we're also reducing the size of the light bulb. We're taking out four T12s that are 34 watts apiece and replacing them with two T8s that are 32 watts apiece. So you're cutting your wattage basically, you know, in half. Half the wattage with half the gear. Not bad. As you can see, you really get the same quality and volume of light out of these little guys. By the time we're actually done with the entire project, we'll be using about 76% less energy than we were before these guys walked in the door. Wait a minute, the lights are only going to cut the consumption by 50%? So where do these tree huggers plan on achieving this magical 76% reduction? We put wall-mounted sensors in each of the bathrooms, each of the storage areas, and a lot of the main open lobby areas that we have. You walk into a bathroom, you walk out of a bathroom, if it's a public bathroom, you don't say, well, I better turn the light off, I'm worried about their tax money. So now our sensor says they're responsible for our taxpayer dollars and they shut the lights off for us. And the retrofit didn't stop with motion detectors. They also hit an overlooked item that was silently sending electricity straight for the exits. Exit signs, you don't even think about them until it's like an emergency. But those are, in a lot of cases, incandescent bulbs burning 24 hours a day. What we've done is actually replace those with LED lights, which are much, much lower energy draw. And since they have to stay on, the, the LED diodes last longer too. So you can see this was a pretty big place. It houses the police station, the council chambers, a huge ballroom, and all sorts of stuff. This was not just some afternoon fixer-upper that Matt could do all by himself. We are working with the Regional Energy Office of Southeast Michigan, as well as Warm Training Center out of Detroit. Warm Training Center is our technical advisor on this. They did the initial energy walkthroughs that said, okay, this needs to leave or this needs to change. How many government workers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Well, it takes, uh, <laughs> it takes two, one to hold the ladder. Right here we have KNS Ventures and we have uh, Bill and Gordy there. They were actually our low bid out of three different bidders, but they've made up for any sort of low bid. Their quality of service is great. They're very, very knowledgeable. We do energy management, HVAC, and electrical for building automation. Not only did these two guys have to work quickly and safely, but they also had to keep the lights on because they can't just close down City Hall. Gordy and Bill had to go out of their way to make sure that they were not interrupting the day-to-day -day operations in the building during this retrofit. We do not want to cut the power off and risk have somebody having a computer or other lights going off. We have a, a tester here that we can test right onto the power. So we put on our meter and this meter is telling us it is hot. So now I'm going to have my co-worker go in and locate that particular breaker with the other end of this meter. Just run this down the breaker here. It'll generate a signal on the breaker itself. See right there I've got, see I've got a good strong signal. This is our breaker that's controlling those lights so we're going to turn it off. And now we should have no, no power out there so we can install the new motion sensor. And finally, a total building retrofit like this creates a lot of old, useless parts and packaging. But even this factor was taken into consideration. There's the old one. So they'll go to an off-site location where they'll be able to be reused in order to make sure that we don't just fill a landfill with all the junk that we're using. Especially because with some of these parts, there's some mercury concerns and some hazardous material concerns. 